Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Triple Double Nation. Today we'll be covering three NBA moves that could derail the Lakers' title hopes. Let's get into the video. The Los Angeles Lakers are going to look for any kind of improvement that the team can make before the NBA trade deadline. As the trade and buyout market unfolds, we have to keep a keen eye on what Rob Palinka could be doing as it could be the difference in winning the NBA title. As constructed, a healthy Lakers team is still absolutely good enough to win the NBA championship. However, the competition this season is more fierce than believe before the year, and if the Lakers are not getting better, then they are comparatively getting worse. There is some big fish in the pond for the Lakers to flirt with as well. Andre Drummond is a buyout possibility, and the Lakers are reportedly optimistic in their chances of signing him if he is bought out. P.J. Tucker has also been connected to the team, and with several other players on the market, anything is possible. There's just one problem. The Los Angeles Lakers are not the only team looking to get better in the coming weeks. Any team that believes it has a legitimate chance to win the NBA championship is going to push hard for improvement. Some fringe contenders that may not impact the Lakers that much, such as the Boston Celtics who are in the opposite conference. Other fringe contenders such as the Denver Nuggets could absolutely end up hurting the Lakers title chances as they could face them in round 1 or 2. The Lakers will always have a great chance of winning the title with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. However, if any of the following three moves are made, then the Lakers' title chances will look bleaker. Number 3, the Phoenix Suns trading for Nikola Vucevic. This is the least likely of the three moves and we have not heard any direct chatter about the Orlando Magic and Phoenix Suns being connected. However, the groundwork for a potential trade is there and it would be a solid deal for both sides. Vucevic has been floated around the NBA trade market and he would be a massive addition to any team. The All-Star Center is averaging 24.6 points, 11.7 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and has 48.3, 48.8, 85.4 shooting splits this season. The price for Vucevic would have to be quite high and the Suns have the youth to offer. Phoenix is far better than anyone could have expected this season with Chris Paul yet again, showing the impact he has on a team. Perhaps the management in Phoenix could see the flaws in the Lakers this season and realizes that the Western Conference is wide open, and if they make the right move, they very well could make a run all the way at the NBA Finals. That is why a move for Vucevic makes sense for Phoenix. So what is a trade package that could conceivably land Vucevic? DeAndre Ayton, Dario Saric, Jalen Smith, unprotected 2021 20, first round pick, 2023 top 10 protected first, and a 2025 first round pick swap. It's a lot, but as we have seen, NBA teams are willing to send draft picks. Orlando would get a young center in return in Ayton, the 10th pick from the 2020 NBA draft in Jalen Smith, and three first round picks for a year and a half of Vucevic. This would cause problems for the Los Angeles Lakers, as the Phoenix Suns would be getting even better at the center position and would have three all-star caliber players in the starting five and Paul, Vucevic, and Devin Booker. Number 2, the Denver Nuggets trading for Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo is one of the biggest names on the NBA trade market and it should be a foregone conclusion that he is dealt this season. He is in the last year of his contract and the Rockets are about to undergo a fire sale at the deadline. There are several teams that Oladipo could join and make an impact, including the Los Angeles Lakers. Oladipo in LA would be very interesting, but a trade would only happen under certain circumstances. Oladipo would hurt the Lakers if he joined a team like the Los Angeles Clippers or Utah, but he does not really fit neither team and a trade just does not work out. However, one team it does work out with is the Denver Nuggets. There is a belief that all the depot could be traded for cheap and the Nuggets could easily work out a deal. A deal that makes sense for both parties is Gary Harris, an unprotected 2021 first round pick and a future second for all the depot. 
Harris is a good defender, but he is a non-factor offensively. Aladipo has a much higher offensive ceiling and can contribute defensively in the same manner that Harris did, if not better. Aladipo at his best is one of the most underrated players in the league, as he is one of the best two-way players in the league. The Nuggets, especially with Oladipo, are not the kind of team the Los Angeles Lakers should want to come up against in their first or second round of the playoffs. Nikola Jokic already gives them matchup issues if they do not add the center position, and getting another perimeter threat can help guard LeBron James would be huge for the Nuggets. If Jamal Murray gets hot like he did last year in the playoffs, the Nuggets with Oladipo are a serious problem to every team in the West. Number 1, Andre Drummond signing with the Brooklyn Nets. Say what you will about the Brooklyn Nets, but the fact of the matter is that most of the time star power wins championships and the Nets have the most star power in the league. Blake Griffin does not really move the needle that much for the team, but does give them a solid depth option. If Griffin can be 80% of what he was two seasons ago, then the Nets just picked up a really good bench asset. The move that would really put the Nets over the top is signing Andre Drummond, if he was bought out of course. Drummond is a classic case of a box sheet stuffer that is not as impactful as his stat line indicates, but he is still valuable to the Los Angeles Lakers and subsequently the Brooklyn Nets. The one advantage that the Los Angeles Lakers have over the Nets is their size, particularly Anthony Davis. The Nets, as currently constructed, are likely going to have to play a lot of small ball center with Kevin Durant. While Durant is a good defender, I'm not sure how well he will do in guarding Anthony Davis. Furthermore, this could lead to the Philadelphia 76ers ending the Nets' run prematurely if Joel Embiid just feasts on the team. Drummond solves that issue and gives the team two decent rim protectors in Drummond and DeAndre Jordan that can stagger minutes and lower the mismatch against teams like Philly or LA. Plus, it hurts the Lakers as they would then would not be the ones signing Drummond. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and hey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.